Welcome to the Ain Dara Temple, located in Syria. The Ain Dara Temple is famous for its giant footprints. The monument is mainly built of basalt rock. Basalt is heavier than granite, and approximately as hard as granite. It has a hardness of around 6 on the moss scale. Basalt is too hard to be cut with only bronze or even steel tools. The first question that comes to mind is, how are the statues made with only primitive tools? The question is never sufficiently answered. Today, such stone work is only done with high-tech tools. There is no stone cutter in the world who is capable to make such stone work with the proposed primitive tools. There are all sorts of ideas, however, none of these ideas are ever tried out. Proposing ideas are easy, putting them into practice is another thing. Some of the stone details of the Ain Dara temple have similarities with the Wing Sumerian statues. The temple is heavily damaged in recent bombardments. We have found compelling evidence of the temple's true age. Stone monuments cannot be dated as archaeologists claim. A stone, a rock, an ancient megalithic wall, can wait patiently for hundreds of thousands of years without giving a whimper. For us, mortal humans, that is very hard to comprehend. And because the current dating techniques of ancient monuments are unscientific, born from the minds of mortal egos, they are as unreliable as it can get. A very brief introduction to our method. We have proven with our method that the geographic pole, the spin axis, of the Earth has moved. The distances between the spin axes correlates one-on-one -on -one with the glaciation cycles. That gave us reliable clues as to how old these former poles, and the related ancient monuments, really are. The probability for the patterns to be coincidental is less than 0.4%. That means, with a very high probability of 99.6%, that the ages of the related ancient monuments, can be categorized in five different time frames of stability. Today, we also live in a stable time frame. The periods in between the stable time frames, the periods of chaos and instability, last for tens of thousands of years. The majority of the original foundations, of the many ancient stone monuments around the world, are a few hundreds of thousands of years old. There might have been countless renovations on top of the very ancient foundations, however, most of the orientations remained the same. Back to the Ain Dara Temple. We have examined this ancient site by using our method. The temple was originally oriented to pole 5. The probability that this claim is correct is 80%. Further examination of the Ain Dara temple, by back engineering the original situation, shows that there are ancient solstice correlations to find. And because there are solstice correlations found in the original foundations, the probability that Ain Dara is as old as pole 5 is increased to 97.1%. That means that the Ain Dara temple is between 330,000 and 345,000 years old, with a probability of 97.1%. Who made the giant footprints in the stones? The giant footprints are also pointing towards Pole 5. The Bible speaks in Genesis about giants, called the Nephilim. Similar texts can be found in the Sumerian tablets. This was, according to the Bible, the days before the deluge. And we agree with that. There were even multiple deluges, or earth crust deformations. For giants, and dinosaurs, to thrive on this planet, gravity had to be lower than today. In short, we have found compelling evidence that the Earth is growing, and that this growth periods were one of the main causes for the Geo-North Pole to migrate, even after the deluge, after one of the growing cycles of Mother Earth, in 1 Samuel, David bumps against one of the left-behind descendants of the Nephilim, Goliath. And indeed, the Temple of King David is recently excavated in Jerusalem. This temple is also counterclockwise oriented to one of the ancient, more recent poles. There is much more about the ancient world that we have discovered, and we will publish them one by one. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. 
please share it with your friends and followers, and let us know what you think below in the comment section. One last thing. Our work is difficult. And because we tread uncharted territory, our progress is steady but slow. We are not here to entertain you with superficial daily videos. We are here to inform you, and to pave the way to new methods of researching our ancient history. Everything we do takes a lot of time. We are not monetized on YouTube, due to the controversiality of our work. That is why we need your support on Patreon. Thank you for watching.